Okay, dumbbell snatch. So, dumbbell snatch, you take your dumbbell, all right, there's two different ways you can have this. So, one is by going basically uh, parallel to you. So, you have it going from one side to the other side, and you want to keep it close to your body. So, if you're doing it this way, keep it real close to your body, you're basically thinking of cranking something. So, if you were to use a lawnmower, you know, you crank it back that way. Same thing, or if you were to zip up your shirt, you want my elbow to go up high, all right? I want to keep the dumbbell close, and then basically I like to think of just flicking my wrist at the top, all right? And so I want to squat down, I want to use my hips and explode. As I explode, bring it up, snap your wrist at the top. So from here, I'll take the dumbbell, staying real close, explode, snap, all right? You can think of jump, so you'll jump, and that will get you more weight and a little bit easier going overhead. And it's the same way back down. So I'm keeping it real close to my body on the way up. You'll see from here, real close, same way down, same way up, all right? And it's a squat, and then thrusting it up basically, all right? I'm snapping my hips, and I'm pulling. Once my hips open up, I'm starting to pull and flick my wrists, all right? That'll be one way you can do it. Another way is by having dumbbell facing this way, all right? And basically what it is is the same concept. I'm gonna pull, and as I pull, I'm gonna bring it up to the top, right? It's still one motion as I come up, snap, bring it up to the top. So it's kind of like a press at the top in a way, right? But it's still one motion all the way up. So side view, still press or snapping my hips, down, coming up, all right? Way to modify it would just be to use lighter weight.